What's going on guys, morning. Um, welcome to another vlog. This is a Sunday vlog again. Um, yeah, next week you guys are gonna have a nice video from me. It's uh, gonna be rebuilding my desk. Uh, it's been something that I've been waiting to do for a while and I'm gonna get my the wood and everything necessary this week to come build it. Um, you guys are gonna also have another video coming up in a couple of weeks of me rebuilding my PC. Um, I'm changing my case, my PC case, to you know work with my new parts better. So we're gonna do that. I'm also gonna do a video of me building my best friend's PC, and you guys will be able to see that part as well. If you like this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know whenever I post. We're gonna be doing. We're gonna go to the supermarket now. I'm gonna go and get some CMOS. If that's if you guys don't know what that is, it's a very um, important drink for you guys out there who are working out who are uh out there with your business meetings i do recommend you get some cmos but i'm gonna just show you guys the one that i get in barbados if you are in barbados that's something that i think you should start drinking um it boosts your testosterone overall boosts all of your um normal male hormones etc so yeah uh i didn't really plan this vlog bro to be honest i just started recording so there ain't nothing that i really want to talk about. oh one thing i really want to talk about is that you guys got to start watching adult content bro i mean it's I, I, i've been I, i've been on all spectrums of that bro i've stopped watching it i've been watching it etc and generally what i find is that i'm way more productive when i don't watch it and there are just certain things i won't get into more detail because of youtube guidelines and stuff but there's certain things that it helps you with and there's certain things that you start doing when you continue to watch things you start objectifying people especially women if you're into women you start objectifying them seeing them as objects and not necessarily persons and it also lowers your confidence in yourself self-esteem and for me i found that once i started reducing it reducing my my watch hours and i eventually stopped um i got way better with women um as you guys know i'm in the part where i'm just dating i'm not necessarily in a relationship but i've gotten so much better i've had so much better more luck with when it comes to women and i haven't been as for for the persons in barbados you may know I'm, I'm not as thirsty as you know i was when i was watching it and i do think that you guys should stop watching it because it tires you out bro it tires you out when you're giving off your sperm your sperm is life force basically that's what i believe your sperm is life force and you're basically self you're just losing it every single time and i think that's something that you guys should keep you know um i'm not really into the the no fat and and um the summer semi retention kind of community because those communities seem a little bit uh weird but i'm just saying like turn that time that you could be doing you know doing your stuff doing that like watching that turn that into time where you are actually being productive or sleeping this stops you from sleeping so i think you should be sleeping a lot more Never instead of watching it but we're gonna head out to the market now and uh, i'll continue this conversation later me. had to rise up just so they could see me did what i had to do just to feed me and what was left over i put towards my dreaming but the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clouds Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Everybody wants to be 
all wanna ring, yeah, we all wanna be free. So show me what you got, what you bring, how you fight in the ring, how you take a fucking swing. Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs, are you willing to go bleed? I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm f***ed off at these fucking clowns. Who for all taught, they deserve it now. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. I swear to God, they all let me down. Um, it's over there, somewhere, in there, and I'm all over there, but, yeah, um, what I was saying about that, I, I do think that is necessary for you guys to just not watch that stuff anymore, bro, like, it's poisoning to your mind, it's poisoning to your soul, and you just feel so much more energized, you feel so much more masculine when you don't, when you're not on it, I feel like I have so much confidence when I'm not doing anything. I need a shave, bro. I need a haircut, bro. I need to get my hair redone. Anyways, I just feel so much more confident about myself, about everything that I'm doing when I'm not watching that kind of stuff, bro. Like, it really, really helps for you to not and watch that anymore. That's just my recommendations. I'm just telling you guys straight up as it is based on my experience and those of some of my friends. Um watching it has no inherent benefit and uh yeah unfortunately in barbados we still have to wear masks when we go into businesses so you guys are gonna see me putting on a mask in there but yeah it is what it is but let's i guess let's go Trying not to get people in shot, you know, because you know how people just get huh? Yeah. Trying not to get people in shot, but yeah, I can show you guys real quick. Um, 
Let's see Mars. see nutritional values here expire September 28th nice interesting God. Man, man, that man is do so much junk yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do enough jump though. I like, honestly, true. Like, I, 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 I just can't get on. Thank me here. This, this YouTube video. Thank me here. We speaking beer bitch already, right though. But you know, it's ways. I can try to open this up. You know. Okay. <laughs> this plastic is coming off. Telling you that, y'all. Drink this in, you girl gonna be. You girl gonna love it. <laughs> I ain't got a girl right now, but you know what I mean. But yeah, like, just that sort of, that sort of thing going on right here. I love my car though. I don't think I show y'all the engine. I ain't show y'all the engine. Correct, but. Over time. All right, y'all. This is what my engine look like. I know a lot of y'all haven't seen it. Nice Subaru Boxer engine. I know there's an issue with the Subaru Boxer engines. To be honest, um, a lot of people don't like them. I mean, my engine's fine. I might do some extras. I don't think I'm actually. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna try anything with my engine because of how um, a lot of the stuff I've heard about Subaru engines and stuff. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, I. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with my engine at all. I might just, as I told you guys, um, look, as you can see, my best friend got, he has some uh, some rims on his car that makes his car look so much better. Um, what I think I'm gonna do with mine, I'm definitely gonna be putting, right now on here, they're 15 inch alloy rims, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna be taking mine up to 17 inch, I'm pretty sure. You, you can see I got a lot of wheel space right here. I'm also gonna put a, I'm probably gonna just do a muffler delete and a downpipe. Uh, not 100% sure on the back of my car. That's probably what I'm gonna do with mine. Make it a little bit louder and uh, obviously tint out my tail lights and get some new headlights. And I think that's gonna be it for what I'm gonna do. I saw somebody with a car just like this. Um, probably a G4 variant. I think that's a manual one that has a 2.0 liter engine. Um, yeah, I had like a black roof, but I don't think I'm gonna do mine like that. And I also have to change my um, my windshield wipers because these don't do the job. But yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, as I was, um, I'm I'm gonna drive home now. But as I was talking about, um, I just don't think it is worth it for you guys to be watching that. It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of your energy and all that time and energy you could be spending you know making making your value building what you got to build you're over there just exploding all that energy unnecessarily and i don't think that it's i i think it's a waste of your time okay and that's from me somebody who um used to do it every single day i'll be very transparent with you guys and real i used to do it every day a year or two ago I used to do it every day. I was, I was the, I was, I want, I don't want to say those things because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But I wasn't the best. I wasn't in the best mental state. I wasn't in the best um, mindset. So I, I, I fell on that to, to kind of make myself feel better, and I fell on that to kind of, um, at least feel good about something. You know, I thought that it would make me, you know, feel wanted, but. Really and truly, those people on there, they don't care about you. They don't do nothing for you. You're just ad revenue, you know? So at that point, it's like, okay, um, once I started doing this on YouTube and getting bigger and better on YouTube and stuff like that, um, it really clicked in my head, okay, 
Um, I'm wasting my time doing all this, bro. Like, what am I doing? And then you start to feel so bad about yourself afterwards. It's like, what did I just do? Whatever, whatever. And I saw this video recently of a man kind of explaining it, and he was, and it kind of makes sense. Um, you feel that way because you're you're at the pinnacle. It tricks your body to thinking that. Um, I'm the man, I'm doing this and doing that, and that's why it's time for you to sleep now, that time for you to rest. And um, it's not time for us to rest yet, you know? Are you that millionaire? Do you are you financially stable? Do you have that car? Do you have that girl? Do you have that stuff? You do you do you have that status? You know? That just proved to me like it's tricking my body, and I don't want my body to be tricked. I wanna be I want it to be realistic, I want it to, to understand. I want my body to understand where I'm at and I need to understand where I'm at. So um, that's why I think you guys should stop watching it personally. Um, and those are based off of my experiences. I feel so much better about myself. I'm more confident. I walk into a room, I have more presence and it's not only physically because I've been in the gym. And by the way, it helps boost your testosterone not watching it. You, you keep more of your testosterone there. You have more of it to use when you're in the gym. You lift heavier. You you go for longer, etc. But what I was saying is that um, it just, I just keep, I just keep going, bro. It's like, I just keep going. I, I don't know what it is, it's some sort of power or something, but I I have I have so much more energy to do stuff. You guys saw that six hour stream that I did? Bro, like, I don't, I, I couldn't do that when I was doing it, bro. I could not do stuff like that. And I did a six hour stream and that was probably one of my best streams I've ever done, you know. And it just it just helps. You 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 have so much more energy. You have so much more drive. You have more stuff to do. And part of what helped me get away from it was I kept myself busy. So I kept working on the VRP. I kept working on my content. I kept working on schoolwork. I kept working on other things. And I got busy so that by the time when it's time for me to go to bed, it's like I don't even want to do anything, bro. I just want to go to sleep. And I just go to sleep, get back up in the morning, do stuff. So I keep myself busy. I keep I keep going until the point where I completely forget about it. So and then, as I told you, you get you get so much better with women because you don't see them as objects. You see them as persons. You see them as um, you know human beings. And like I think I think that the relationship between a man and woman is such a beautiful thing. And um, it's. I, I start to, to cherish that kind of interaction more and more and more. I, as the longer I go, the more time I go, and the more women I talk to, it's like I cherish that, that kind of interaction. I, and I kind of, I don't want to say crave it, but I think that when I hit my 30s and 40s, and I do find that woman that is for me, and I find that woman that, you know, I love, bro, I think that it's going to be so much better. I currently, I can't say that I love any woman right now. I'm, I'm, I'd say that I like a few, but I can't say that I love because it takes a while for me to love somebody personally. I can't just, you have to, you have to show me the, you have to show me the, that, what it is for me to spend money on you. Like, I'm very, very resource strict. I'm very strict on how I spend my money and how I invest my money and how I use my money. The VRP is now turning into basically my business and I reinvest almost every cent of it into either my channel or my YouTube channel or, or my or the VRP. And all the players benefit from it, you know, because they they're on there for free. They don't have to they don't have to buy anything. They have to do anything. You know, they just come on and play. All I require is for them to come on and play and give give um and give give what do you call it? And and I guess provide content for us but other than that it's just I just want people to come on that you're just coming on for free just for the entertainment and stuff like that and like I for me to spend money that I earn every every day spend it on a girl she has to be worth it bro she has to show the the, the, the qualities that I'm looking for in a person I go in every day stressing about different things I don't want to come and be stressing with my girl about how she's gonna be acting like that's why i want more of a feminine woman and i'm not talking about feminism i'm not talking about anything any all right my phone um my phone overheated uh they started they, it, it saw me talking about feminism so I, I i'm done i'm done with that but 
I don't talk, I'm not talking about those kind of women. T- I want to be able to take care of my girl. And I want her to be able to follow, you know, my lead. And I'm not going to be that abusive guy's going to get angry and stuff like that. Those guys are that deserve to be buried in the prison. But I'm just saying that um, I need a girl that's not going to give me any headache. I need a girl that's going to that is gonna help support me when I come home. Give me the peace that I want. And they're not going to make things hard on me you know so all right good morning and that's what i need that's what i want i have no problem paying for my girl i have no problem you know paying for everything as long as i know it's worth it when i come home i have a beautiful woman to come home to who's gonna have a plate there for me as long as all her shit is covered like that she has she has a plate there for me and um i can just come home lie in her lap and just be at peace you know i don't want to be in a competitive environment like in youtube and have to come home and combat my woman like that that kills motivation bro it completely kills motivation i don't want that bro like i really don't so that's that's kind of less a little bit more about me what i want for the future and what i want for myself um a lot of people are gonna be mad about that i don't care bro it's my life it's my life and what I want. Um, when people, when men say nowadays what they want, it's like, like, oh, you this and that, bro. I want what I want, and you're not gonna tell me what I want. So I'm gonna tell you, my girl's gonna get treated like a, like a queen. But the only time she's gonna get queen treatment is if I get treated like a king. And you guys know how that is goes. But anyways, um, this is gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support. Um, I do appreciate it. We're going to continue these topics a little bit further. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. Next week, I'm going to be doing some other stuff. And then the week after that, you 